Hey everyone, it's Stephanie with Little Yaker Studios again and just doing a quick tutorial on uh, pressing one of our new large linen style uh, sublimation tote bags. Um, I just made another video kind of showing some of the uh, the product off so now we're going to press it. Um, what I'm going to do first for this particular project um, is I'm going to lay this towel or an old towel underneath or excuse well underneath my blowout paper but on top of my press and if you can see here I'm making sure that this does not go over the edges because what I'm trying to do is raise the center up um, because of this particular product it does have these seams and so to get a good press I want to make sure that these seams are um, uh, that I lift the center higher than these seams so I get good contact in the, the center of where my image is going to be. So what I'm going to do next is take my blowout paper and um, get that down over the full towel. I'm going to place my back on. I'm going to try to line up the seams. Okay. And then I'm going to so I'm gonna give it just a quick pre-press because it is fabric just to make sure that we've gotten all the heat out of it and or excuse me all the moisture out of it and uh, to make sure that there's no wrinkles so we're just gonna give it a few seconds of a pre-press going to take my transfer from my sawgrass printer and I'm going to use my Condi Pro Spray just give it a light mist I've left the top of my paper untrimmed for this particular project uh, because earlier I, I kind of laid it out and I like the distance down and I'm kind of using this as a marking point with the, the top to help get my placement just how I want it. And I'm going to rub my hands all over to make sure I've got it pressed down good. And this, for example, is a uh, 15 by 15 heat press um, with uh, it's a clam, uh, clamshell press uh, with the pull-out tray. It came from Heat Press Nation. I love it. I've gotten several pieces of equipment from Heat Press Nation. Um, I really like them. Um, they've got great customer service and good products. So that's where this came from. Pull the butcher paper off again. And just, you know, with anything sublimation wise, it's going to be warm when you take it off. And there's the transfer. And here's the. I'll hold it like this. Better angle, maybe. There we go. So I'm going to flip it. Are 
transfer just a little wet in the others which would indicate I maybe had my pressure off just a little. So crank it down a little. Pretty good. And another 60 seconds. So anytime uh, you're working the heat press, you know, always, um, ideally you should wear, um, you know, your heat resistant equipment or anything like that. I, I, uh, I pretty much just wear my gloves when I'm working with tumblers, those get really hot and um, most of the time use a convection oven. Um, so definitely, definitely want to wear your gloves if you're doing um, tumblers. Here we go, here's my 60 seconds. Pop it up. My paper. Out. Here we go, wonderful. Here's this side. And you can see the other side. This is for just a little bit of ink, but that is normal if you're doing two sides of something when you heat it up again you're going to lose a little bit of ink uh, on the second side um, so uh, that is it for today everyone thanks so much